high, right? Look at this, guys. We've got a high, right? We've got a high and then a higher high, right? So people are probably like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense, right? Now, if people understand divergence, you'll understand that the opposite of what happened over here happened over here. It was just a reverse in price action. So if we're going to draw a line to show price, action of price there, and then So it was already in a downtrend, and over here, it was divergence. So it was opposite of what price had done previously. Are we on the same page? lost? Who, 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 who feels like they don't know what the hell's going on? Great. If you don't understand what's going on, oh, this is going to help you. Now, Back to my favorite, back to my favorite, imbalance. Imbalance, 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 imbalance. Let's look. So this was the previous move. From here, to there. Science. Buyers were, in buyers were in charge, right? Right. Listen carefully, guys. Buyers were in charge, right? We had this uh, order block. Right by that imbalance, we had this order block that we knew needed to be mitigated. As you can see, when price came in over here, price pushed up, right? Price pushed up, and then remember now that what did price really do? Price mid, price just cleared out an imbalance here. That's all price did after breaking into that order block. You see this here? This was the imbalance. See? Let me let me just go deep. Let me just go. Up. You see this so let let me explain it right so this is what price did so when price bounced off this order block that took out this previous structure over here just pull that in Obviously, on a, on a lower time frame, you would have definitely caught the move. But what actually happened was there was an imbalance from here, right, to this low, this candle over here. So from here to here, there was an imbalance. So what did price do? Price bounced off this order block that took out that high just to close up that imbalance. Can we all see that?
So automatically we knew that once prize, we automatically knew that this order block would hold. Because the reason for it holding was to clear out that unfair price. So now I'm trying to teach you guys how to see which order blocks hold and which order blocks won't hold. If they make an impact on price action, they hold. There's some order blocks that, that, that break structure but get broken right through. Why? Because there's no point for their the, the, the existence, well not at that point in time rather should I say. with me? Let's look at this. Let's look at this quickly. Look at this, guys. I feel like you, can't probably, you probably can't really see it. So let's, let's take this away. Um, and let's rather draw lines in black. So let's take this line over here to the bottom of this candle, right? And then have our order block, 50% of that order block, um, and probably on a lower time frame, you would have caught this move and seen that it took place, right? But what actually happened? Well, look at what happened over here. Price was unfair, right? From here to here. Price was unfair. From here to here. Here, buyers only. Meaning that sellers would need to come in and clear that out. But what makes that order block valid is the fact that they would need to bounce off that order block in order to clear out that unfair price. me to change the background. Let me just make it black. Here are my settings. Background, body, uh, hold on. Where is it? Appearance. Okay. White. Black. Better? Better. Yes? No? Perhaps? Maybe? Okay, anyway, now we can't even see where my trend lines are, so now I need to... Yeah, but now we can't see. Okay, anyway, so we probably can see better. Is that better? Everybody's asking me to turn up the comments, so let's turn up the comments again. Um, okay, cool. So let's turn the comments off. Okay, comments are off. Now I need to work on my trend line. So I think there was a trend line over here. Yeah, no. Wait, how do I appearance? Okay, guys. Hold on, I'm just going to go back to white so I can change my trend lines to the actual color they were before. Okay, so there's my trend lines. Now let me make these white. There we go. White. All right. Okay, I think we're good to go. Make that black. Done. All right. Okay. All right. So, 
Can we all see? Can everybody see? So, right? It does look much better, you're right. Now, can everybody see this imbalance? So you can see it pretty clear now. There's an imbalance. So it was, it was, it was a pretty obvious situation that was taking place, right? Pretty obvious situation. They just came, they basically came down to clear that imbalance. And then use this order block for price to start shooting off from. So as we see, price came up, right? What happened then? Price went up before price came down. Right, 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 right. So now we're going to go to a higher time frame. So let's remove all of this. I'm getting tired. Oh. And see where price is at, but anyway, never mind that. Right. So, what just happened? Let's look at this again. Look at this chart carefully, guys. Do you remember last week I told you that there was an imbalance? Who remembers that? I told you that there was an imbalance. Who remembers that? see comments I don't I can't see but anyway price needs to be made fair at all times guys you, you must understand that price needs to be made fair at all times right so we have our final order block guys it's the final order block there's nothing after this so how would I identify my final move That is my final move. Once I start selling, I'm not stopping. That is my final move. Even if price goes slightly higher, price won't break this high, so I know that I'm secure because price won't take out this high. So that's fine, right? And since we, already, we have already seen that there's a change in character because price took out that low I am pretty sure actually positive that um, price will now continue to fall price has broken out of my range I'm happy if this candle continues when the next candle comes, if this candle has broken out of this range, guess what? There's our final order block. It was this order block. Oh, done. Shit. It was this order block that took out that high. The same high that they used to bounce off. What happened? All they did was create liquidity. Fake liquidity to take it out. We create liquidity, price goes up, everybody gets involved, institutions come down, look at that. Can you see that there were no institutions involved yet? They just helped retailers push price up. That's retail, that's, that, that's an institution, guys. That's institutions, look at that big red candle. Institutions take out structure. You hardly see retailers, if even, so we knew that already over here, right, already over here, 
we saw that you probably find out that you know minor institutions, little hedge funds, mostly retail traders are pushing price up, failing to take out previous highs, right? So that automatically tells us, okay, fine, right? We are now looking for a sell, right? So I, went, I already went over this. I'm not going to go over it again, right? How we caught the sell, where we would have gotten in, whatever the case is. But now my destination is here. This is my destination, guys. Where my, I'm selling. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here, guys. I am here. I am selling to this level. We mitigate this order block. Why? Because it was this order block. It was this order block that created this high. Right? It was this order block that created the equal highs. So we had a high. Okay, you can't see it now. Shit. It's not. Hold on, wait. There we go. So we had a high. As soon as price came back, right? They were going to sell off again. It's just a matter of getting in at the right time. We had equal highs. What does it mean when price has gives you equals highs? There's it. Boom. We're done. Goodbye, NASDAQ. Price has broken out of my range. It says sell. Sell to the fucking hell. Right over here, baby. That's where we're selling to. Done. Price has broken out of my range. What a perfect timing. Price has broken out of my range. We are selling to the next level. Let me put comments on. This is a great time to put comments on. Hey, woohoo. Price has broken out of our range, guys. It's a sell. We are selling. We are selling. Price broke out of our range. We have liquidated the previous buyers, the early sellers. mentor I ever had. Thanks, thanks for that. I try, I try, I try. Oh yeah, no, they're definitely going to go lower. Oh no, definitely, definitely, definitely. You must remember that again, we have an imbalance. Can you see this? Can you see this? There's a lot of imbalances here, but I'm just going to draw one out. So from here, right now, from here to here, right? We have an imbalance. From here to here. Now, if we look at this, in order to make price fair, price would need to come down to this level. Right. But where is the imbalance? The imbalance is over here to here. There's your imbalance. Buyers from here. Yeah. Imbalance. Right? So there's an imbalance in the market that needs to be cleared. It's just a matter of when it will take price place. Price may come down. So price may come down. Mitigate that order block. Price goes up. Fails to take out those previous highs. Price comes down, 
to clear out the imbalance and from there Nasdaq starts going back up and this is where we enter we enter here it's just a matter of them leaving their footprints for us to understand that yay this is where we're entering they're gonna come off this breaker Now my point of interest is here. Forget that. That's where my point of interest is. See? Now guess what? Guess what's going to happen? See, this is what's going to happen now. Buyers are going to get involved. Who's going to buy? Everybody. Everybody's going to buy. Why? Because we have an imbalance. We do. We have an imbalance. So buy, guys. Buy. But buy to this level. Buy, 100% buy. Buy into that imbalance. On a lower time frame, you're going to see many multiple imbalances that I showed you earlier. You're going to see those. I just showed them to you earlier on the five minutes. Buy into them. But as you can see, as soon as price gets here, price will then fall, failing to take out that previous high. Who's with me? Let me try to change this. Um, I want to try to change this color of this. So it's black. I need to make it white. White man. There we go. So this is what price is going to do. Price is going to go up. into this order block that broke previous structure and liquidate them whoop right since price broke right out of that breaker price will then continue going up from this breaker right as price broke out price came back off that breaker and price went up. So what are we looking for? We're looking for price to now come to my destination. And then, guess what guys? Oh, we have an imbalance. There'll definitely be an imbalance over here. So now, what happens? Price goes up and down. What did we do? They now liquidated the previous buyers. Guess what? They leave an imbalance. Guess what we do? We buy that imbalance to sell it off. How was that? That was fun. We all learn. Tightness. Yeah, you see. 
the institutions weren't going to take out that loan unless they needed to. This is where they're going to liquidate them. But it's still going to be buys and sells and buys and sells. So they work their way down to either break even or continue selling. Yes, no, of course, we sell further. But remember now that we need to create liquidity in order to manipulate it. So we need to create liquidity in order to manipulate it. I don't know, I feel like... We don't think price is going to go. Price is going to go try to test those highs. And trendline traders are going to wait for a breakout. Super shame. Trendline traders got it hard today. Did you see what happened, guys? You see, so this is what's going to happen. Let's pretend I'm a trendline trader now. I'm not bashing the trend line traders. I'm just going to show you. All right. So I feel like this would be right. Where's Manando? Is Manando around? So we can just kind of like get his view on this. Am I drawing trend lines correctly? Okay. So we have a trend line. This is the first touch. Wait, guys. Is this right? Is this? I don't know if I'm drawing it correctly. Hold on, guys. Here's the first touch. See the trend line isn't the right color. Let me make it white so we can see it. All right. Uh, wait, man, what the hell? White. Am I doing this correctly? I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. First touch. Where's the next touch? Is that what they're waiting for? They, they're still waiting for it to come down here. Alright. Someone get Manando in. Is this going to be the... Huh? This is weird. So you still waiting... Guys. Wait, so are, are these guys serious? They're actually waiting for price to come down here. And then they're going to buy. Huh? Wait, Menando, come in here, bro. Help. Cause, cause, whew. 